Well, here we go. Here's our first lens feature on Lens Day Wednesday. Uh, you might have seen our introduction uh, a week ago. Hopefully you've watched some of the Tech Explained uh, episodes, which should give you an idea what to expect. But our first lens today is the 50mm uh, f1.8 STM. Now I've got another one here, which is the old 50mm 1.8 uh, Mark II, and I've brought it along for a specific reason. Now the 50mm 1.8 STM is probably the most popular lens that people will buy straight after having had uh, a couple of months playing with their kit lens. The 50mm 1.8, cheap, cheerful, light, compact, uh, absolutely astonishing in terms of image quality and what you get out of it for what you're paying is really, really, really incredible. Um, F1.8, gathering an enormous amount of light, giving you those wonderful bokeh, beautiful blurred background kind of shots. It's not incredibly sharp across the entire frame at f1.8, but it'll deliver a really, really good result uh, at f2, f2.8, when focused on the center. Um, as you go up through the, uh, the f-stops to 5.6, f8, it delivers incredible results across the entire range. What's great is it's small, it's light, it's cheap, great for reportage, street photography, when you're just walking around, just shooting stuff in general. If you need to shoot interiors, you got 1.8. If you need to shoot something with finer detail, uh, go up the f-stops and you can get really, really good stuff out of it. It's small, unobtrusive, and damn easy to use. The beautiful thing about the new STM version, which was launched about a year and a half ago, it has a metal bayonet, so it's designed for a little bit more durability, and it has the STM motor. So great for autofocus focus for video, but also not not shy in the uh, <clears throat> sort of photographic terms. Now the reason why I've got the 1.8 Mark II here as well is because there's an enormous second-hand market and there's a hell of a lot of these things out there. The 1.8 uh, Mark II was labeled the Nifty 50 for a reason. It had a plastic bayonet, so not incredibly durable, not as strong as the uh, the later version, the STM. It is a hell, of a hell of a lot cheaper if you can still find some of them. Some stores are out there still have them in stock as new, but you'll find them mostly in the second-hand market. If you're a student, you're on a budget, you're looking for a cra cracking good lens at a low cost, you really can't go wrong with that Nifty 50. And what it says on the box is exactly that, cheap, cheerful, and, and great quality. Obviously, the optics were improved kind of dramatically when we went to the STM uh, version, uh, and it is substantially better, but it does come at a slight price premium. But essentially, an incredible lens and something you should always have in your bag. I love shooting with the STM. A couple of samples you'll have seen in the background while I've been talking have all been taken on this lens. And um, to, to, to go out and just challenge yourself to do something interesting, uh, grab a 50mm, go and shoot for, for one hour, two hours, whatever it is, shoot with that fixed focal length and see what you get. This is a great little lens um, and you really all you need to know about it is <laughs> great quality, great price. Nothing wrong with that. Thanks for watching. Yeah.